Hello. This week, we will answer a question about the difference between nation and country. Could you please help and explain what the difference is in usage between nation and country? Thanks and regards, Siyong Hao. Hello, Siyong. This is a great question. Often these words are used as synonyms, but there are differences. Let's look at how we use these words and find some examples to help us understand. Let's start with country. A country is an organized political unit. We often describe countries as states, especially when talking about politics. Joshua Keating, a former editor for the website Foreign Policy, says there are several things that are needed to become a country. A country needs territory or land. Next, people living there must live there permanently. Then, the international community must recognize the boundaries or borders of the country. Next, the country must have full sovereignty or the freedom of rule and be recognized by other countries. Finally, a country is ruled by a government or political body. Here are some examples of how to use country in a sentence. There are no countries in Antarctica, but some countries like Chile and New Zealand have claimed areas of it. I have been to several countries in Europe including Romania, Czechia, Estonia, and Finland. Even though the United States is made up of smaller units called states, they are not sovereign countries and are not internationally recognized as such. California is a state and has the world's fourth largest economy but it is not a country. We often use country and state as synonyms, especially to differentiate the other meaning of country as a place outside of a city that has fields, farmland, trees, or villages. Regina enjoys going to the country on the weekends to visit her family's farm in West Virginia. Now, let's move on to nation. Nation has two different meanings. Firstly, a nation can describe the same thing as the word country or state. Our VOA word book describes a nation as a country together with its political and social systems. Let's look at an example. There are 193 nations that make up the international organization called the United Nations. The nation of Argentina recently won the FIFA World Cup. Nation also has another meaning. It is the people of an area who are connected by a common culture or identity. Sometimes a country or state is represented by one nation, called a nation-state. Japan, Finland, and even the United States are considered nation-states. Not all nations of people have their own country or border of their land that is recognized internationally. Examples of nations of people without their own country include the Kurdish people, 
and Native or Indigenous people like Native Americans. The Kurdish nation lives throughout a region called Kurdistan, which is spread throughout five countries. Kurds have a common language and culture. First Nations people are an indigenous nation group in Canada. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.